Hi friends, welcome to new video. Today I just came with a small tip about the silicone tube. And the silicone sealant have wide range of use in home maintenance. But it have a disadvantage. If you don't use for a long time, it will get dried and you cannot reuse. So today I just came up with an idea how to use a silicone tube long time. This cylinder I'm using more than seven months. You can use also the same way, only a small trick you have to do after every use. So watch video carefully, I am going to show you what you have to do with the silicone tube after every use. After your usage, just clean the nozzle with a dry cloth. Squeeze the silicone tube to get some silicone sealant in your fingertip around 1 ml quantity as you seen in the video. Squeeze very slowly and when you get enough silicone sealant in your fingertip, on end of the silicone tube nozzle you create a cap as you see in the video and i have a small request to you if you are watching this channel first time and not subscribed yet please subscribe press the bell icon and enable all so all the uploading videos you will be getting on time so making cap process almost done now you can store it somewhere but just remember when you store the silicone tube store somewhere little bit cold place as you can. Now you can see here how I made the cap edge of the nozzle. Next release silicone gun pressure lock. This type of gun just turn the lever to the opposite side but different type of guns will have different type of release locks so just check with your gun. After make dry protection cap you can store it but when you store be careful which will make the cap should not touch with any other surfaces. So this cap will protect silicone sealant getting dry faster and easy to reuse. Now you are watching in video, I have to pack my silicone sealant to reuse after 4 days. So I am going to show you how to remove the cap. The outer surface of cap is completely dried now. So we have to remove slowly, carefully. Hold the cap and pull back, but very slowly. While you pulling back, you will see that how deep it got dried inside nozzle. So very slowly and carefully remove the dried part from inside nozzle. Because if it is break inside, it will be very difficult to remove. If it is break inside, you have to use any small wire or something and slowly to remove the broken part. Also it will be little bit difficult and risky to remove dry protection cap if you exceeding more than 4 days to replace cap. Even in video you can see now, around 1 cm length it got dried inside the nozzle. So my suggestion to you to replace the dry protection cap maximum 3 to 4 days not more than. So if you don't have usage for long time just replace the cap every 3 to 4 days. So you will not get waste the silicon tube, you can use it long time. Now you can see in video, the silicon cylinder is coming out very smoothly. So the same way, you can create dry protection cap again, store it back. Thank you friends, thank you for watching video and I will get back to you soon with another useful information. And if you got useful this video, please like and share.